G'day guys, welcome to another uh, trip series. So I've just met the group that I'll be traveling with uh, about an hour out of Perth, we left pretty early and uh, we've all got together at Baker's Hill Pie Shop. We always seem to meet somewhere revolved around breakfast or a coffee, which is a good way to start the day. And I think we've got 10 cars with us today, so it's a fairly big group and uh, we're gonna go so sort of somewhere between here and Kalgoorlie, between Perth and Kalgoorlie, um, to a really interesting uh, mountain range called Helena Aurora. I've actually been there before, about three years ago, uh, and I also filmed a trip. This will be a, a, a similar trip, except uh, there's a couple of points of interest that we missed last time that we'd like to hit. So, um, should be a good one. Today we're doing a few highway Ks just to get to our first stop. Uh, which would be Balaji Rock, which is a really good um, free camp. And then the next two days will be completely off-road. We won't even see bitumen. It'll be big campfires, cold nights, a few beers. Should be a really good trip. Anyway, I'll see you when we find this free camp, Balaji Rock. Cheers. So this is a really cool little free camp. Um, I think there were some pit toilets coming in. That's about it. Um, no cost to this one. It's just sort of find your own little spot. There's plenty of room. And pretty much no matter where you are, you've got views of this massive rock behind you. I'll get the drone up a little bit later. We'll probably climb to the top with a couple of beers of Savo, watch the sunset. Uh, it's quite a good uh, view behind it as well. There's salt lakes and, and whatnot. Chris is, um, he tells me this is uh, the third revision, eh? Third revision, mate. Third revision, Third revision. Of, of, of what he's got on the back of this um, Navara Dual Cab. I've never seen it set up. I'm absolutely intrigued, so he's going to give me a bit of a look. So this is all timber. Uh, yeah, yeah, pa um, patio tube. Patio tube, plywood. And plywood. He's a pretty handy fella, Chris. Oh, storage, cool. Storage. There's the toilet. Batteries. All right, your dunny's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battery, solar, all that's all set up. So got all the goodies in there. So why has this come about? Just because sore knees and getting in and out of rooftop tent? Is it just about easier access to it? Easier getting in and out. Yeah. And when you need to have a piss in the middle of the night. Yeah. There's your toilet right up here. Okay. Oh, the dunny roll holder. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> just realised, cool. <laughs> It's all starting to make sense. And that's uh, pretty much it. Very good. What's, and, uh, it, what's in here, Chris? What's in that one? All right, more storage, cool. So, uh, so this comes out. Oh, uh, yeah. Right there. So that's... Uh, just sits there. Cool. And your dunny sits here. That's right. I'll pull that guy out. Oh, so if you put the um, the annex thing down. That's right. You can sit on there and you've got a bit of privacy. That's exactly right. And I suppose you could even stand on here and get dressed and stuff. Yeah, well, I've got, it comes out here. Gotcha. So, That's wicked. Yeah. Clever, eh? I like it. <laughs> Will you get it knocked up in like aluminium or something or you just keep it timber? Oh, I do want to get an aluminium one. Yeah. And then you can put some some seals and That's and then right. it'll be dust and waterproof. That's right. First first stage was there. Yeah. My mate made one. Yeah. And then uh, his was made out of steel. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, 
but because I had about a month to go for this trip, I thought, ah, I'll stick this box on top. Yeah. And uh, see how it all works. Make sure I'm happy with it. I will get a roof rack. Yeah. And then tie it down. Yeah. So this is again just a temporary measure. Gotcha. I just do uh, see how it goes. So this is the prototype. This is the prototype. Very but, good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's the, the aim of the game is my missus doesn't like uh, having a wee in the bush. Yeah. So we'll have the cover around the, um, the toilet. Yeah. So it's nice and neat on the end. Ugg boots, you're going to need them later. <laughs> I reckon you're right. Yeah. I've already got I like it. Clever. So this is the kitchen side. Fridge on a fridge side there. Fridge on a fridge side. Battery was on the other side. That's right, goes straight through. Table there. Table there, that's how it goes. Cooker, gas. Yeah. Pull the gas out. Again, still a bit of a work in progress. Yeah. But uh, all, all covers all the main food groups. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, I like it. Thanks, mate. No worries, bud. My setup on the other hand this time, really basic. Um, back to basics this trip. I'm still two or three weeks off getting the internal fit out on the canopy done. So I'm using an Esky. It's got to last me four nights. It all went in there um, last night. So yeah, I need to get four nights out of this. What I did to get four nights, I'm hoping anyway, I filled up a, um, that's a 10 litre jerry can. Filled that up with water and I froze that for like three or four days. Um, and that's sort of in the center of this esky and everything's packed either side. So I'm hoping that gets me what I need. For water, just a 20 litre jerry can. Um, it's all, it stays there, it's all strapped in. I just throw this strap over it. Luckily I've got this track so I can strap down to something. Um, and I've got water on tap there. So mega basic, um, but that'll do me. I'm in the swag tonight. Sort of half set up. Sort of got sidetracked when I saw Chris's set up. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm on a stretcher at the moment. I'm just sort of trying a stretcher. Uh, I didn't want to, Tiff's gonna find out. <laughs> I always do this. It's the old poor man buys twice, but I, I quite like the idea of getting a stretcher. So I went ahead and ordered one without thinking too much about what swag I was gonna put on top of it. So I read all the reviews and stuff. This Oztrail Easy Up uh, stretcher or whatever it's called was cheap, so 150 bucks delivered. Um, had the right weight ratings, looks really simple to put up, it looked the goods, but I didn't look at dimensions. It's too small for my swag, uh, and I am looking at upgrading my swag, but I wanted to get a similar size one, 1100 wide, like a king single, and this stretcher is just not going to do it. So, unfortunately I bought that and it's probably useless. Uh, I might stick my daughter on it when she comes away swagging, otherwise I'll probably stick it up for sale. And I've gone ahead and ordered another swag and a stretcher, a uh, Kalkine one and it's on the way so it gets here in the next week or so so next trip i'll show you that one i'm just going to make do with this setup for now which will be fine but uh hopefully next trip be a bit more organized <laughs> oh, we're all set up now but we're spoiled for views you got the salt lake at the moment it's full of water because we've had quite a lot of rain and then you got the big mountain or the big rock up behind us i was going to go up later the salvo um, with a beer for sunset, but probably still will. One of the boys, Tony, was saying that he's seen an echidna up there, so we'll go for a look. She's a big old rock.
So for tea tonight, I'm going to cook on this little um, single uh, gas cooker, little butane stove I picked up from Bunnings. Like I said, don't have my full setup in here at the moment, so I'm kind of just making do with what I've got. There's a hair on the lens there. So um, I haven't got any lighting or anything in here, so I'm using a, a head torch. Um, so I thought I'd better start now before that sun's fully set. So I'm going to do a Thai red chicken curry. Starting with half a tin of this red curry paste. So this is that Masri, I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, you can get it at Woolies in your Asian section. And I'm just going to use half a tin. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of ginger, garlic, and lemongrass paste. Fresh stuff would be better, but this is all I got. So I'll let that cook off for a few minutes. Actually add some sweet potato at this stage, because that'll need a little bit longer to cook. After a few minutes, I'm going in with a cup of chicken stock. And I'm going to let that simmer for a while and want it to about half in volume before I add anything else. So once that's about halved in volume, I'll go about a tablespoon of fish sauce. That adds all your saltiness, so I won't bother seasoning this. I'm going to go about half a dozen kaffir lime leaves, some sugar, and some coconut cream. Could use milk, but I've got cream. So once that's on the simmer again, I put my chicken in, and then I'm just gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes till it thickens up. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. I've managed to get a couple of the boys to try this just so that you know it's good. So I'll call them around. I've got Keith here too, but Keith, he can't eat garlic, so we can't try it. <laughs> it smells amazing. There you go, bro. Thank you, mate. No worries. There you go, mate. Rice there, curry there, okay. and then if you want it, coriander, devil's lettuce, red chilies. That's like the. Um, like not the hot ones, not jalapenos. What do they call them? I don't know. Which ones? The chilies. They're not. It's not really hot. It's the big chilies. Okay. And then peanuts for the top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. You won't need salt you or pepper or anything like that. You're gonna go first. All right. Go. On. Brought me on plate, mate. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> I can't do coriander. I can nah, do it. Nah, a lot of people can't. Nah. It's not for everyone. Nah, I like coriander. The old devil's lettuce. Hey, if you get um, kaffir lime leaves in here, just throw them out. It was just while it was simmering away. There you go, mate. Thank yeah. you, mate. Oh, it smells incredible. Get it. Yeah. Oh. That one there's going. Ah, okay. Have you practiced your lines? Yeah. Will you eat coriander? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Chili? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good at all. Oh, What's well, cooking? Good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Your timing's a bit off. There you off. go, mate. Timing's a bit off. A bit off. What are you having? I'm going to go some chili and some nuts. Get it chili on. nut. I'm going to go some peanuts. Right some peanuts? Oh, yeah. Cheers, Ken. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. So, what's it taste like though, eh? Let me know. This is what we need to know. Go on. Bradley? Be cruel. Oh. Yeah. It's right. Beautiful, isn't it? Good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice You've done well, Cam. Yeah, nice All right. Trip. All right, I reckon I'll leave you there. I'll probably mix a drink for these boys after dinner. Yes, please. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. won't say no to that. All right, cool. Dinner and drinks, you've won me over. Yeah. And then I reckon, uh, I reckon we'll that's again. it. Yeah. We'll come again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.
Oh, that is sweet. We're drinking pirate rum on our oh, pirate yeah, yeah. Where from? Oh, I don't know. I've been there for years. Oh, really? Have you got any ice? No. Cheers, Cheers me, me old pirate. Cheers, mate. Arr. Arr. Break your time. Bacon eggs in a wrap. Coffee on the go. I've got the milk in that new Bialetti frother. Um, stove top frother, but I've just stuck it on the coals because I've only got the one stove. That was unusual. Just started pouring with rain. We've all done a quick mad pack up. Didn't expect that. I didn't have I don't have an awning at all. Who was it yesterday that I think it was you, Hazel? Someone said, have you got your awning out? No, why would I get that out? <laughs> that was me. Yeah. I should be driving before we know it. Yeah. So that was a bit of a mad rush. Worst job rolling the swag I've ever done. It's gone straight into the back seat of the car. Oh dear. Oh well, anyway, coffee. Uh, we're all packed up, that rain stopped for now. I think it's I think it stopped for good. We're gonna head out to Bullfinch, which is there's not much really there. Have a quick poke around. I'll show you the old town swimming pool, you'll probably get a laugh out of that. And then we hit the dirt, we'll probably air down and we'll head out through the uh, first station we're driving through to the old abandoned Mount Jackson homestead. So should be good. And then that's us on, on the dirt for the next three days. So that'll be nice. Last bit of tarmac now, let's do it. So this is the last of the civilization that we're gonna see for a few days. This is the town of Bullfinch. Sorry? Did you wanna just duck, do you wanna duck back and chuck a right there into town and just see if there's fuel there? Just for you and maybe um, Leon and Gary if you need to? Um, yeah, we can have a look. We'll just be pulled up here anyway, mate. Okay, thank you. So this is the old bullfinch swimming pool. <laughs> There's not much to it now. much left of it now 1957 anyway about to hit dirt now and Brad was just saying he's checked the weather reports and the weather is looking when we left the weather was looking fine and now there's the chance of thunderstorms and stuff and it's all this sort of red dirt once we hit the um, once we hit the tracks and it turns into muddy slushy clay crap so fingers crossed we don't get too much wet weather otherwise it's gonna be interesting We 
been really lucky so far because the last 80 or so k's of road is obviously being maintained by some, some of the mining operations out here. Uh, they're moving big uh, tankers and, and uh, mining machinery through that way. So they're obviously focusing pretty hard on grading that road and keeping it nice and smooth. Fingers crossed anyway, eh? wildflowers at the moment that sea of white you can see over this area is wildflowers in bloom pretty cool there's some pink and uh, yellows as well driving in looks much the same as the last time we were here I love the letterbox <laughs> Put his name there. Put your name there. Yeah, sign us all in. I just didn't want to put your name there. Didn't, didn't what? You didn't know how to spell Keith? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was written. I bet. Yeah, the odd people must still camp here, eh? And use the fire pit. And would you camp here? If it was pissing down with rain, you I'd stick the swag in here, couldn't you? Yeah, I'd stick, stick the chairs in here and light the I mean, fire. Look at that, <laughs> yeah, she's a bit dodgy. Yeah, but, but I mean, how many years has this been standing? Yeah. You're that's what I mean. Oh, the old Metas. I love that that's still there. The who? The Metas, the stove. No. Two of them. Look at the shoe there, Cam. Look at, pick it up and have a look underneath how it's made. It's with the nails and shit. Oh, yeah, it's a proper old yeah. nailed sole. I can speak to Sarah. That one's a bit of last time. That is cool. So that was cool, saw so our names in the book from 2018 was the last time we were here and it has deteriorated a lot since then, which is a shame. Here you go Cam, I baked oh. hard so. Thanks Tremaine. Tremaine, what about Brad? Thank you Brad too. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey? Anyway, we're, uh, we've, we've had a bit of a look around and now we're packed back up and we're gonna air down a little bit. I'm probably gonna drop down to about 25, 30 pound. Uh, and from here, we're gonna drive off this station and into the Great Western Woodlands, um, which is pretty cool. The track's gonna get a little bit tighter, a little bit scrubbier. Um, uh...